What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at what could have happened to the Bayern Munich team in Season 7. In Season 6 they won the double, they won the Champions League and the DFB Pokal, they only came third in the Bundesliga though, so that was a bit of a disappointment. I'd won the Bundesliga title five seasons running, but then when I left it down to the computer the team only came third, so... Yeah, I was massively disappointed with that to be honest, I wanted them to win another treble, but didn't quite happen. Hopefully though, in this 7th season they can do a bit better, and once again secure the treble. The season didn't exactly get off to a good start though, as German legend Bastian Schweinsteiger declared that he'll be retiring at the end of the season. And it was then time to get rid of a couple of players that no longer had a place in the team. Antonio Rudiger was the most high profile player to leave the club, he was sold to Liverpool, and we also got rid of Rui Faria and Kobayashi. And coming into the club is the French goalkeeper, Quentin Herto. He's six foot two, he's got a four star weak foot, and he looks like an absolutely fantastic goalkeeper for the future. And we're also bringing back the Brazilian right back, Camilo Paulino. He came up through the youth academy at Bayern, but we sold him on a couple of seasons ago, wasn't really ready for the first team, and we sold him on to Greuther Firth. He's developed incredibly well since he's been there. He's up to a 79 rating now at the age of 21. He's got a two-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, and he looks like a very solid player to add to the squad. And as Greuther Firth handled Camilo Paulino's development so well, I've decided to sell them Philip Dubrovsky. He's a decent centre-back, 72 rated at 18, but he's not really in the first team plans at the moment, so I'm going to move him on, keep an eye on him, and he could well come back to the club in the future. And although Bayer Leverkusen had an absolutely fantastic season last year, they've decided to sell their goalkeeper, Bernd Leno. He's gone to Newcastle for 46 million. Personally, I wouldn't have sold him, he's a very good goalkeeper, but 46 million isn't too bad for him, I suppose. And also there you can see that Eden Hazard has been sold from Real Madrid to PSG and Morata has gone from Sevilla to Atletico Madrid. And as transfer deadline day progressed, Dominic Solanke moved from Aston Villa to Leicester, William Carvalho was sold to Valencia, Raheem Sterling was sold from Manchester City to Real Madrid, Victor Fischer moved to Augsburg, Akure was sold from Newcastle to Lyon and Ricardo Rodriguez moved from Wolfsburg to Atletico Madrid. And as we moved into January, it was time to sell De Chilio. I do like De Chilio, but he was our third choice left back by this point, so wasn't really getting any game time. And as I do like him, I wanted the best for him and decided to sell him to Benfica. And another player leaving the club in January was Gareth Bale. He was homesick going into January and the board decided to sell him without my approval, so he went to Manchester United for 41.5 million. And they got an absolute bargain, to be honest. He was 94 rated at the time that he left. So, yeah, a 94 rated winger for 41.5 million. They absolutely robbed us. I would never have agreed to that deal myself, but it was the board's decision. They decided to let him leave, and Manchester United got a fantastic winger for 41.5 million. And I want all of my young players to develop to the best of their abilities, so anyone that wasn't getting first team football was put up for loan, and a number of players found new clubs for the rest of the season. Hopefully they'll be able to get a bit of game time whilst they're out on loan, and come back as much better players. Right then, so now it's time for the moment of truth, as we find out how the team have done without me. And we've got some very good news here, as Bayern Munich have moved back to their rightful place at the top of the Bundesliga table. Last year they only got 66 points, this year though they've done it, they got 75, and they are the Bundesliga champions. And they've also won the DFB Pokal again. It was a bit of a disappointing run, as they've only won by one goal in every single round, but it doesn't really matter how you win, the fact is that Bayern Munich have won the DFB Pokal once again, and at the very least, they've done the double. And they did pretty well in the pre-season tournament as well, beating Manchester United 1-0 in the American Challenge Cup final. And they also absolutely destroyed Roma in the European Super Cup, 5-0. We weren't able to win the treble though, as Bayern Munich went out at the quarter-final stage in the Champions League, they were beaten by Chelsea, who then went on to lose to Manchester United in the semis, 
And in the final, Manchester United absolutely battered by a Leverkusen. And it seems that even in FIFA, Sevilla just absolutely loved the Europa League. They beat Arsenal in the final, 5-4 on penalties. I'll take a look through the stats now then, and Lacazette was the top goalscorer in the Bundesliga, along with Agudelo and Davison. Correa got the most assists along with Berthier and Neuer was the best goalkeeper. Emmanuel Neuer was also the best goalkeeper in the DFB Pokal along with Nyland. Miachi, Bieler, Christiansen and Kajewski got the most assists and Messi was the top goalscorer. Aubameyang was the top goalscorer in the Champions League. Depaul and Naronha got the most assists and Courtois was the best goalkeeper. And over in the Europa League, Kevin Morales got the most goals, Harry Kane got the most assists and Ariza Balaga was the best goalkeeper. Time to take a look through the squad report now then and first up we've got Manuel Neuer. He kept 24 clean sheets in 51 appearances. He's on the decline now which is a bit disappointing but he is 36 years old and that's to be expected. Krachowiak remains an 82 rating, he's got the potential to be special and looks like a very good goalkeeper for the future. Herto is up to an 80 rating now, still only 20 years old and he is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Yunukovic is up to a 74, only 17 so this kid is going to be absolutely unreal. And Abu Morris 75 rated at 19 and once again, looks like a very talented goalkeeper for the future. And the same thing goes for Dos Santos as well. 83 rated at 23. He's been out on loan at Palermo and he's another absolutely fantastic goalkeeper for the future. As too is Empen. 84 rated at 21. We have got so many awesome goalkeepers. And we've also got a very high quality right back as well in the form of Remy Prosser. 90 rated at 25. And he is an absolutely phenomenal player. And Inglese isn't doing too bad for himself either. 77 rated at 22. Didn't really play much this season, but he is improving and developing nicely. Camilo Paulino came back to the club at the start of the season. Came up for the youth academy and then was sold on. He's an 81 rated now at the age of 22. Didn't really play much, but he's a good player for the future. Emperor is up to an 81 now. He's been out on loan at Sevilla, helped them win the Europa League, and he looks absolutely brilliant. Ryan Fitzgerald is up to an 83 now. Very solid centre-back. He made 16 appearances and got a 7.0 average. Boateng only got a 6.9 average. He's on the decline. He's down to a 90 rating now. 33 years old, but still a very good centre-back. Varane is up to an 89. He made 31 appearances and got a 7.1 average. Hummels is on the decline, 16 appearances, 1 goal, 1 assist, 7.1 average, and his mental game is dropping off. Jermaine Brown is up to an 88, 24 years old, potential to be special, and looks absolutely brilliant. Only got a 6.6 .6 average, which is a bit disappointing, but hopefully he'll do a bit better in the future. Alaba is up to an 89 now, 48 appearances, 7.1 average, and he's developing nicely. Hessen Taylor, Ashley Coles Regen is up to an 82, developing across the board and looks like an absolutely phenomenal player. Sam Powell is up to a 69 now, gone up by four ratings this season, potential to be special and looks like a very solid player. And Amin Sharf is a very solid player as well, 20 years old, 72 rated, also has the potential to be special and looks absolutely awesome. Bianchetti has been out on loan at Chievo, he's up to a 76 now. The Philip Lahm regen is up to a 71, gone up by 4 ratings this season and looks like a decent player. Only made 5 appearances but is pretty solid and still only 19 years old. Zetera came up from the academy, he's 62 rated at 17, potential to be special and he's developing nicely. Joe Loff, another player with the potential to be special, 74 rated at 21. Douglas Costa remains an 87 rating, 23 games this season, 6 goals, 2 assists and a 7.2 average. Robbins Regen is up to a 79 now, only made 5 appearances and he's on the transfer list, I'm not too sure why that is, must have had a contract dispute, I'll have to sort that out but yeah he's developing nicely and he's 79 rated at the age of 21. Philip Startsev is up to a 69 rating now, 17 years old and looks like a good player for the future. Thiago is up to an 89, 6.8 average 
and he is still developing nicely at the age of 31. Tony Cruz remains a 92 rating at 32. He made 36 appearances and got 9 assists. Not too bad at all. Naronha is up to an 85 now. He had a decent season as well and he is developing nicely. Sharp is up to a 79. Didn't really play too much but he's developing pretty well anyway and looks like a good player for the future. Israelson is up to an 86 now, 23 years old and looks absolutely brilliant. 6.9 average for the season. Kimmich is up to an 81 and it's good to see him still developing. Schweinsteiger is down to an 82 now and he'll be retiring at the end of the season. He played 16 games though, got 4 goals and had a very solid final season at Bayern Munich. Kadir, the Ribery regen is up to a 78 now, exciting prospect and looks like a good player for the future. Rodrigo Figuera is up to a 79, 22 years old and he is developing very nicely. 6 goals in 7 appearances, not too bad at all. Jardim remains an 81 rating and he hasn't improved at all this season so that's a bit disappointing. Okuma remains a 67, just came up for the academy recently and looks like a decent player for the future. Thomas Muller got 17 goals in 43 appearances. He remains a 90 rating and he's still a very high quality player. Messi is on the decline but he is 35 years old and he got 23 goals in 41 appearances with a 7.5 average. That is absolutely brilliant. Robert Lewandowski did a bit better than last season. Last season he only scored 2 goals which was just embarrassing to be honest. But this season he scored 10. He got a 7.1 average and he remains a 91 rating. Ibris Regen is up to an 84 and he got 5 goals in 25 appearances. Ivanski didn't score at all but he's up to an 82 rating now and he's doing very well for himself. Mendes is up to a 67 potential to be special and looks like a very high quality striker for the future. Camille Peach is up to a 76 now and he's developing nicely. Kingsley Coman remains a 74, he didn't play at all this season. Ronaldo is down to a 93 rating, got 17 goals in 47 appearances though and that's not too bad at all. 37 years old, he's only valued at 7 million which is a bit odd but still 93 rated and still a very good player. Neymar spent some time out injured this season so his physical stats have dropped off a bit but he's up to a 93 rating now and got 4 goals in 16 appearances. Tomasic remains an 85 rating and his mental game improved a bit. Fabio Perez is up to a 73 rating, Casillas is up to an 81 and that is the end of the squad report. So they didn't win the treble in season 7 but... At least they won the Bundesliga and the double isn't too bad at all. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again next time.